is the single setback. They send him out in motion to the right. All sorts of time for Bell, and it's intercepted! It's picked off right away! Intercepted a Monty Hooker! Pick six! Eight seconds into the game! Iowa leads! Back for his last read, and I don't think he saw him at all, Steve. And what a play to start this game from Amani Hooker. Talent, he gave it all the fans, all the love on third and one. First down, it's Barrett, the ball carrier. Why they're different than they were against Oklahoma early in the year. On second and short, there's Barrett to throw, and it's a wide open K.J. Hill. Hill has become the go-to guy on first down and 10. Here's Barrett to throw. Middle of the field, end zone all alone is Terry McLaurin for the touchdown. Making that look easy. So we played two minutes and 18 seconds. And we're in a 7-7 game. James Daniels, he's got to get this crew going today. Second down of 10. Akram Wadley's first carry is a big one. Down the sideline. And he'll be knocked out by Jordan Fuller. Here's Stanley to throw. Good protection. Lays it out perfectly, and they have the first down. And it is Noah Fan. Here's Miguel Racinos on to attempt a 30-point field goal. It is up, and it is good. Dobbins to the right of Barrett. Barrett's going to keep it and pick his spots. He has the first down yardage. Good patience, good delay to get the necessary yards. Run game two, and he's almost flawless. Play fake. Barrett to throw this time and complete to Marcus Ball. First down and ten. It is November after all. Here's Dobbins. Turn in the corner with speed. J.K. Dobbins finally knocked out by Jake Gervas to make it second and 14. Here's Barrett. He'll turn the corner. Has some running room. Got the first down and then some. Here's Sean Nuremberger on to attempt a 27-yard field goal to tie the game. On the way. And it is good. And that was close. So they move the sticks. Off the play fake. Stanley to throw. Across the middle, Nick easily took a big shot, but he's got the first down. Easily gets up slowly. Took a big hit after the gain of 14 from Jordan Fuller. Third and two, looking right. Out of the flat, it's wildly has got the first down. And that was perfectly designed. This comes out of the backfield, a late shift, trying to identify man coverage. He gets it on the linebacker. Look at those hands. That's a perfectly thrown ball from Stanley. Third and short, Wadley, very close. We'll see where they spot the forward progress. Nick Bosa came up to make the tackle. Wow, that is tight. And they give it to him. And the crowd roars their appreciation. College football has the best and most traditions in all of sports. And as Kirk Ferentz said, in a day and age we can't agree on anything, we should all be able to agree on doing the wave. Waving up to the kids, and not just the kids, but their families, and all the caregivers. All the nurses, and child life specialists. This is, this is one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time in college football. That's great, there's Urban Meyer, paying his respect, saying hello as well. First play of quarter number two, off the play fake. Nick Stanley taking a shot, able to hook up a fans. And he's inside the 10. Some pressure around his legs, able to hit his man for the touchdown. Iowa back on top. Hand off to Weber again. And he should have first down yardage. Absolutely obliterating their opponent. This is Ohio State's quarter. Second and one. They got all they needed. Barrett will keep it. Make a few people miss. He'll take a shot. And has the first down. The gain of six on the play. Hooker put a lick on him. Four to snap it. Get it off in time. Here's Barrett off the play fake. Throwing down the middle of the field. It's Johnny Dixon. He was in motion and he's in the end zone for six. 44 yard strike from GT Barrett to Johnny Dixon. You know, you roll out here. I think they were in a legal formation. And if they don't get in the right formation, this comes back. But. 
the speed of Johnny Dixon. We saw it last week against Penn State. Nick Stanley to throw down the sideline and overshot his intended target, Amir Smith Marcel. Barrett taking his time and he's got the first down. Here's Barrett. Doesn't feel the backside pressure. Loose football. It's out. Ben Neiman knocked it out. And Ohio State able to recover. Barrett looked to his left. He'll throw. And let's see. Did he grab it off the turf? They'll say incomplete. Throw found a seam down the middle. And a beauty. Able to hit the hook up with TJ Hawkinson. Here's Stanley again firing across the middle. And again it's Hawkinson across midfield inside Ohio State territory. There's no replacing Nick Bosa. On first down and ten. Taking a shot at the end zone. It is caught. No offense. Touchdown. Matched up last week against Mike Gesicki from Penn State. Gesicki made some plays, and Brian Ferentz realized he wanted to get his playmaker, Noah Fant, matched up as well in this game, and they take the lead. <laughs> as opposed to you and me. 45 ticks to go here in the half. Stanley will check it down and make something out of nothing. Look at this! Akram Wadley! Inside the five. Stanley to throw for it. And a wide open man. Touchdown. It's no offense. Shouldn't be that wide open, right? That's 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 another bust breakdown by Ohio State defensively, whether that was tough Borland or Dante Booker. And Ohio State will take a knee. And at least for now, they'll say, Uncle, they need a halftime break. 15 into the third quarter. Feels like a big play. Wadley. Oh, it's a big play by Ohio State's defense. Led by Jalen Holmes. Third and three. Barrett's got all sorts of time. And it looks like it was deflected and falls incomplete. There's an empty set right off the bat. Stanley comes out firing and completed. First down yardage. It's TJ Hawkinson. Ben for Iowa so far this year. Second and six. Stanley off the play fake. Yeah. Across the middle has a man and it's a first down. Another first down. Matt Vandenberg. But look at this arm. Look at this throw. Stand in the pocket. Confident. That's right on the numbers. Perfectly thrown ball. Stanley in trouble and it looked to get rid of it. She on television did not travel today. Here's third and five. Barrett trying to tug at him and finally bring him down. For six in big trouble. Stanley's throwing again. Looked like off a hand and then a flag comes late. First and ten. Just across midfield. Wadley. Staying on his feet. Making people miss. Akram Wadley. What a run. In a play. Sort of the story of the game right there. Stanley to throw. And it was in and out. And the pass is caught. Colin Rostetler threw the ball. First and goal. Play fit. Stanley. They got him wrapped around the leg. Back in the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. It's Hawkinson. This coaching staff has given Iowa a chance to win. They're not playing not to lose. They are playing to win this game. And they've done it time and time again here at Kinnick. And they're in great position now here approaching the end of the third quarter. Barrett all sorts of time. It's knocked out at the line of scrimmage. Batted down by A.J. Apensa. The state's defensive front against the offensive line of, of Iowa. Maybe it has been, and it's working for the Hawkeyes. James Butler, he's running away from people. And he'll be stopped inside the five by Damon Webb. Iowa State looking to add some more. 
Off the play fake. Stanley throwing for it. It's caught. Touchdown. It's Drake Kulik out of the backfield. Take a look. Watch Booker. He's right here. Watch him halfway in. He knows he has Kulik in the flat. He's running with him, and then he's going to look back right there. For some reason, just second-guessed himself, and that gave the lane for Kulik. Dixon in motion. Second and ten back. All sorts of time. Now he'll launch it, and it is intercepted. See him. He's looking left, looking left, and that worked for him last week against Penn State. But you can't throw late over the middle, and that ball is late, and Josh Jackson has read him for the second time in this game. The, the knock on JT, as good as he played last week, the knock on him has been that he telegraphs his throws, that he doesn't see defenses as well as he should. Out of the hole of Colton Rastetter. This time Rastetter will just put it on the ground and hold it. And Rosinos boots it through. Barrett throwing and completing to Dobbins who sidestepped it would have been a big hit. This defense for Iowa to get interceptions. Only two third down conversions all game for Ohio State. Make it three. That's KJ Hill. Nothing to brag about on third and one. Barrett underneath able to complete to CJ Saunders. Getting their hands up. But there was the magic number of the turnovers. Three nothing Iowa. Oh what a play. Make it four nothing Iowa. Josh Jackson hat trick. Three interceptions. There is a flag. We'll check the marker. May have just snatched the life out of Ohio State season. Jackson, a guy the coaching staff said needs to turn all those tips and deflections in interceptions and picks. He has today. He's got three. How's your hard count? And things are about to get a little testy here now. This loss and play Michigan State, that'll be a challenge. Third and one. Got the first down. James Butler. Ryan Drusande is back at his goal line. Look at Drusande. He's going to take off. Oh, it's Rastetler, I beg your pardon. To the failed fake punt. Barrett to throw. End zone. Johnny Dixon. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Final four without at least three top 25 wins. Breaking free is Torn Young. Getting big plays from everyone. It's only a slight exaggeration. And breaking free is Torn Young. Piling on now is Iowa as they crack the 50 mark. <laughs> Get in the middle, McShay. Here we go. The place is about to explode. It's all Iowa. Nationally, this will be the story about how Ohio State was manhandled here today. Locally, this is a great story about the Hawkeyes, who always seem to come close. Truly a signature victory. Look at this place, Greece.